Yes, yeah, sorry, people. Um, so this quote is from, um, uh, I actually saw it on my Facebook, and it's a quote from, I think, an ex-Army veteran, actually, an ex-veteran. So this isn't just coming from some random person. And uh, out of all the things, like I said, that I've read and seen on, the, on Colin Kaepernick, I thought this summed up what I feel and what hopefully people should feel about the Colin Kaepernick stuff. And I'll leave it at that. So it goes as follows. I do not follow football. I do not. I don't know who this quarterback is who didn't stand for the national anthem. I don't care. For those of you who said he shouldn't have done it, that he should have been fired over it, that he's not a patriot, and that he should be forced to stand, I do care. This guy exercised his First Amendment right to free expression. His bosses at the NFL said it isn't mandatory to stand. The Constitution says it isn't mandatory at all. The instant you make it mandatory, the moment you take away choice in this matter, you destroy the patriotism you're trying so hard to protect. If he doesn't have a choice, then no one does. So no one is a patriot. No one is taking pride in their country. They're standing up because they're required to. That's not the country I want to live in. Stop supporting his team. Burn his jersey. Switch to soccer. That's all well and good. But don't shame him for exercising his rights. Don't talk about taking away his rights. Either we live in a free country or we don't. That don't be part of the problem. And this is from Mike Reed. Um, thought it was poignant and perfect, he said. So I felt I would leave it at that, leave it on, leave this blog on that note. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, keep supporting it. Uh, any comments you have, um, I'm going to be, guess I'm going to get bombarded with comments one way or the other. But any comments you have, good or bad or whatever. Um, feel free to send them to my way and uh, take care.